Hey mini artist, how's it going? Today we are drawing Bart Simpson and he's being Secret Santa. So we're gonna give him a big fat present on his back and also he has a Christmas hat or a Santa hat. So pick up your pens and follow me along. First, we are drawing his eyes and the shape of his head. So we'll start by drawing a big circle as his right eye. And then since he has smaller iris, we're gonna draw a small circle in the center and then draw another half a circle this time. Just make sure it doesn't go above If you imagine a line over here, it shouldn't go above that line. So a half a circle like that and draw his iris. His iris is oval shaped. Okay, perfect. Now for his nose, we are drawing a sausage basically that is cut in half something like this and then just make sure that his other eye is connected to his nose okay perfect now next part we are gonna do his forehead and the rest of his head shape on this side so first draw a half a circle a small one like this and then continue with a small straight line. Perfect. Now we come on the other side, leave some space between the eye and his ear, and then draw a big straight line like this. Just make sure that you don't go above this imaginary line. So if you can start, oops, if you start from there, you should start, stop from here. Shouldn't go above this point. So now we are drawing his ear. And his ear is oval shaped. So something like this. Half oval. And you can draw his inner ear by drawing two simple lines. One is curved and the other one is half a circle, like this. Now, when you continue to his neck, this line doesn't continue, meaning that you have to go back a little bit. So go, if this line starts from here, go back a little bit and then draw a line like this. Okay, perfect. Now, when it comes to his hat, we can draw a simple square, not a square, a rectangle shaped cloud. So just give it tiny little edges. Now I'm going to cover this mess that I made earlier with my cloud. Like this and finish it off by connecting it back to this original line. Now for the top part of his hands, we are going to draw a big arc. So let's do that. So if it starts from here, it breaks in the middle, and at the very end of it, it connects to a big circle that is shaped like a cloud or a snowball, something like this. Okay, perfect. Now, next part, we are going to do the rest of his body. And how do we do that? Let's begin by drawing his mouth because it's the easiest. So, where did these two lines meet? Stand, uh, draw a line from underneath his eye and make sure that it doesn't connect to these two lines where they meet. Something like this. And then 
draw a big curve as his smile and connect it to this like that and we're gonna give him a smile like this now ooh, let's draw the rest of his mouth so imagine a line that, that is coming down from his nose and this line is slanted it's not coming down straight like this and this is where his mouth gonna be the rest of his mouth it's usually in the middle so middle of this line like this so we're gonna do it then curve it in the middle like this and then don't go too far and then come back down something like this now let's draw his hand so for his hand we are gonna draw an arc that's coming down from this line up until this line and then going to the other direction like this and then connect these two lines with another curved line like this perfect now this is his this is the part of his shirt now his hand is coming out of this part so let's draw a line a simply curved line like this and another one to draw his arm now as you get closer to where this line is you have to bend it more and more and more until it goes to the other direction and then simply connect connect it to the ear so this is his arm and then we're just gonna this is his bicep and tricep and this is is the rest of his hand like it's bent and it's puts on his back so there you go and then to finish off his head we're going to draw his neck and we're going to draw the color of his shirt we we'll just draw a simple curved line like this so perfect now all we have to do is draw his shirt it gets a lot much a lot more easier from this point on i promise <laughs> so let's do his shirt let's go in the middle of his arm and then just draw a simple curved line and then another one like this that's gonna be his back and then start another curved line where these two lines meet something like this and then draw another one like this and then simply connect these two lines with a curved line and that's gonna be his waist so all there is left to do is draw his belt and we're gonna be drawing it very simply like this and then let's draw his pants so just like his shirt it's gonna go one down and then another but on the other side it's just one simple curve now let's draw his legs I mean finish off his pants Two simple curves that are not connected together and then a simple line in the middle and then draw his legs these legs are just two sticks and then for his shoes we're just gonna draw it super simply
something of this kind. He's wearing boots. So all you need to do is just draw a simple shoe. Now there are tons of models that you can get inspiration from, but these are the boots that he wears in his show. Very simple ones. Don't make it too complicated. Now all that is left to do is his left hand and the presence on his back. So let's do the left hand. So all we need to do is draw a simple curve, another curve to the body, and draw a simple stick that comes out like this. And for the presence on his back, we are gonna draw a bag. So start from where in the middle of the eyes, right here, and then draw a big curve. And curve it again. And connect it to the body. And that's our present bag. Now to just decorate it, we're gonna draw some lines. Give it some creases. And that's it. There you have it. This is Bart Simpson's reporting for duty, giving presents to kids like you, the mini artist. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs if you liked it. Subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.